Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to share with you an important moment in my life. It centers around this box. Today, I went, uh, we don't have mailboxes here. We just have a front desk. And so I was checking the front desk for my Austrian bank card, which should arrive any day. And I viewed this box. Whoa! With familiar names on it. And I started to get a tingly feeling. My sister sent me a um, sent me a box of stuff, care package. And I feel the care. Uh, so publicly, thank you. And I feel the love. I need this. Thank you. If I didn't say that before. I know I did just now, but really, thank you. And <clears throat> uh, I just want to share with you the contents of the box. Um, my, uh, my box here. Okay, this is what was at the top. It was, it's a heart. And there's a note. Um, Auntie RJ, we hope this package brings you some of the content, the comforts of home. It's as close to a hug as we could get. We miss you and love you very much. Good luck. Make us proud. Love, Brad and Roe, Andrew and Ashley. And there's a painting on this side. Now, my, myself, I'm a sort of a desperate aunt right now because uh, I don't, you know, there was a possibility to bring a lot of things uh, over because I'm a short girl and there's only so much I can carry, but I did bring one of Andrew's paintings over and it's hanging on my bulletin board. But it's awfully bare up there, uh, just with the one painting. So, uh, so I did request some more things, which they have sent me. There's this and a uh, real nice clear handprint over here. Nice contrast against the red as well. We've got a print here from Andrew, but we've also kind of got smooshes, you know, because sometimes, sometimes you've got to smoosh. Sometimes you just got to get in there and get dirty and be expressive. And again, Rochelle, thank you for cleaning up after all this because I'm sure it was a tad bit messy. Um, and here we are, handprints in other colors of the rainbow. Um, which I'm just I'm just loving very much. Uh, it's so freaking cute, basically. Um, we've got a full handprint here. We've got one here that was kind of going in a certain way. It's it's beautiful to me. Uh, this kind of a watercolor wash, and uh, it's very nice. It's just beautiful, as you can see, very expressive. And on the other side, I think a gift from my brother-in-law. Amount of distribution taxed as a dividend. Uh, so I know that Brad was here. Uh, the Brad was in this area and uh, donated me this piece of paper. So I am, I'm so grateful uh, for his presence as well. So thank you. And uh, we also have a ton of food here, things that will, that will allow me to function. Um, because you know, you when you go overseas, you realize that uh, that there are basically a lot of things that uh, you probably tend to focus on gathering that you don't absolutely need. I've been guilty of that in the past. And you begin to sense what truly you need to, to survive and function in, in an okay manner. And uh, one of those things, my friends, for me is coffee. And uh, if you've known me for five minutes, you know this. And <clears throat> Let me, let me speak to you about coffee in this country. First of all, uh, we have no Starbucks here. And it took me a couple of days to kind of recover from that information. Um, we, now, let me tell you, we do have thousands of places, well, maybe not thousands, but many places to get a very good cup of coffee. Now, uh, when, when I say coffee, I also mean latte, macchiato, I mean uh, a regular latte, I mean all of the fruit for things that you can get at Starbucks. But the, the <coughs> sorry, <laughs> I've done this by the way. <laughs> I've, t I've taken this like three times, so I'm not going to do a retake over a sneeze. I'm just going to let you know that because I want to get on with my day. I really do. Anyway, 
So the coffee here, there are, there are many places to get a really great cup of coffee. They know their coffee here. It's a coffee culture here. But um, the size of their coffees uh, is a little bit different. It is, um, if you ask for a coffee, they will give you something like, uh, like a tall would be at Starbucks. There are no other sizes. And, and two, the, the coffee culture, coffee and social go together in Austria just like they do in America. Here's the difference though. When they say social, they mean gathering with a group of friends and drinking coffee and talking to those friends one on one. Nobody, uh, this is what I witnessed, nobody whips out their Facebook, uh, nobody texts. It's a serious, intense hello. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and that is what, that is how they think of social. Now, me, when I think of social and I think of coffee, I think of going to my Starbucks. Uh, I have a few of them, uh, so that's why it's plural. Anyway, and I think of social as connected to the internet. I think of social as being able to Skype with someone talk to somebody I've never met before, enjoy a huge cup of coffee, and stay there all day long. And that's what I think when I think cup of coffee and social, and let's go get a cup of coffee. So, uh, so it's really interesting. It's a really interesting um, adjustment. I have not yet found a place uh, where I could go and sit all day. Maybe, uh, I think they have a Starbucks in Vienna, which if you look at the map, and if you look at Innsbruck and you look at Vienna, it's going to be a long train ride. But I, I think I'm willing. I think I'm willing to do it. There are a lot of other reasons I want to see Vienna too, but I just got to let you know that in here my heart cries out for uh, a piece of carrot cake and, uh, and a long, long visit. So anyway, this is going to keep me properly caffeinated uh, throughout my stay here and I'm, I'm really I'm very grateful for this also in the box goldfish now goldfish uh, I, the splendor of this is uh, it's unimaginable they're truly portable you can toss them into your book bag which I live with my book bag on my back I know it's not on there right now but give me 20 minutes and uh, I go, I visit places I've never seen, I wander around, and uh, snacks in my bag. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. Um, also, we've got a very powerful detergent-like substance that will allow me to toss some things in the dryer and wait for 15 minutes, and then they will come out clean that's what I'm getting from the package, that that's the process. And I'm so grateful for this because <laughs> laundry is kind of expensive here. And although the machine system was a lot easier to figure out here in this dorm than it was in my Germany dorm, it will only take 10 cent pieces. That's it. If you don't have eight of those for every wash and every dry, you're SOL, baby. So, um, you know, and it's it's kind of a while to gather all of those pieces. And uh, so uh, I'm just grateful for something that I can use uh, to keep myself clean because sometimes when you're, you know, kind of basically pretty mobile and you're kind of living out of uh, some suitcases and things like that, it, there's a tendency to want to wear things. Perhaps a little bit over their freshness date. And uh, although there is that temptation, it's not the greatest way to win friends and influence people. So, so I'm grateful for this. This will allow me to make friends and, uh, you know, just be the light in people's lives. Okay, now here we have, that's right, hot tamales. You'll notice that the box is open. Um, it wasn't that way when I got it, but it got there real soon after uh, 
you know, a rival in my dorm room. I love hot tamales. Uh, hot tamales are sacred to me. I used to get these every time my dad took us to the movies when we were kids. I don't know what it is about them. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, I'll tell you a story. So a long time ago, in a land far, far away, Omaha, I was at the movies for my birthday with um, my sister and her, I believe, then boyfriend. I'm not sure if they were married yet or not. Brad Rowe, you'll correct me on this. But we were there for my birthday. We decided to see Rent. And, uh, you know, and I've gotten the economy box of these. Now, they no longer really have two sizes of things at movie theaters. It's either industrial, feed a third world country with this box of candy for a month, or nothing. So I got the economy size of the hot tamales. We went into this movie, and I had some trouble developing sympathy for the main characters of the movie. I don't want to pay rent either. I don't want to have to have a job and be responsible either. I too would like to lie around all day and create my song. But you know what? The world isn't like that. <laughs> I just... The, the main characters just made me giggle. Now, I'm sure that the theatrical presentation was a lot more moving because people just loved that thing. But I'm telling you, the movie was crap. So, at any rate, we giggled through the entire movie. It was probably distracting for the people around us. And I was eating this huge box of hot tamales. And uh, we got out of the theater... My sister needed to go freshen up, so there Brad and I were standing in the lobby, and all of a sudden I kind of got this tickle in my throat. And so I started to, to cough, and then I started to kind of cough harder. And then, as you might imagine, the hot tamales uh, began to make kind of a reappearance. Uh, to, to not, I mean, I didn't... I didn't launch right there. It's just that, you know, there's some stuff stuck in my throat and I'm coughing and it's coming up and and all of a sudden, I uh, there's some red liquid beginning to drip down my hand and I realize that my sister's in the bathroom, her boyfriend is standing next to me and it looks like I'm bleeding to death into my hand. I'm, it looks like I'm hacking a part of a lung. And that as you may imagine, struck me as funny. Uh, and so now, in addition to the coughing, I'm laughing. I'm laughing and I can't stop because I see the look on Brad's face as he engages the situation. And I see him start running for some napkins. And I just, I mean, it was so funny to me that I couldn't stop. And then my sister came out of the bathroom and it was just all over. I mean, I seriously... <laughs> I think I might have lost part of a lung at that point. But that's my favorite hot tamale story for you. Um, I haven't done that here, which is probably good. Because, you know, international incident, it's still possible. So, at any rate, we also have Laura Bars. Uh, these keep me alive in Omaha, Nebraska. And now they're keeping me alive across the sea. They're uh, basically all they are is fruits and nuts. There are no artificial weird anythings in here. And <sighs> ingredients, dates, peanuts, salt. Seriously, it's a peanut butter cookie and it couldn't be more fabulous. So I'm grateful for these, very much so. Also in the box, we have mm, TLC Wakashi. And uh, this is Dark Mocha Almond, which is my favorite. And uh, we have uh, we have about three boxes of TLCs. New look, same great taste. Oh, yeah. I have underestimated the value of being able to read a damn box in a grocery store. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we went shopping the other day, and I'm like, I mean, it's just basically kind of guessing. And sometimes you guess well, and sometimes you guess very badly. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I love it. It's an adventure. But it's comforting to know that there are some things at home that I know what they mean. Okay. Orville Redenbacher. Not my last name. Um, this uh, this is going to come in very handy. A friend of mine and I are doing a Harry Potter marathon. 
there's a microwave next door and by God, I am not afraid to use it. So uh, I'm very happy about that right there. Also, my sister has sent me food which matches my ability to cook. Bing! Okay, it's cheesy, made easy, because you know that's what it has to be for me. Um, comes with its own bowl, good, because I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and um, apparently just add water out of the tap. It, it, it couldn't be easier for me. I, um, I'm i really grateful for this. This will be used. This will be used well. Um, also, we have some honey roasted cashews. Honey roasted. Oh yeah, this is going in the bag. And uh, this, these will be traveling with me uh, for a while. This kind of snack food, I can't, I can't, overestimate the value of snack food when you're on the road and good snack food stuff that's you know gonna give you some energy because there are mountains to climb uh, there are things to do over here and uh, you know this is this is good power food so uh, in addition to that we do have finely made dark chocolate now this is gonna stay in the drawer at home this doesn't go in the bag why because I would eat it in a day. Um, so that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good for my butt size. It's not going to be good for anybody. So we are going to be, uh, we're going to be enclosing these in a drawer here, these finely made chocolates. And they're just the right size too. You can pick out two of them and you can, you know, just rest. You've had your dark chocolate for the day, you know. You don't have to eat a whole bunch to be satisfied. And these, Linda Truffles. You all know how, how much I dedicate my life to the consumption, the proper consumption, of lint. And uh, lint, Linda Truffles, uh, they sell these here too, but I'm so grateful that, that my sister sent me some because, um, I don't know, enjoying one of these is a spiritual experience. It can be, if done right. Um, okay, and the final. Oh boy. Oberto. Yes, beef jerky. <laughs> this is another thing that I can put in my bag and run around all day and not need to not need to stop for food because uh, it has all the proper nutrients in it and uh, and I can go all day on this stuff. So so how fantastic is that? We also did receive an envelope and inside the envelope. Whoa! Pictures. This is my niece, um, niece-ness, Ashley, is, uh, well, she's not quite a year yet. She'll be a year in July, and uh, she's discovered how to roll, and um, <laughs> is apparently uh, very mobile now, and uh, I'm so proud of her. Uh, so she and I, we're going to have some deep discussions uh, when I get back, I think. Uh, that'll be great. And another person I'm going to have deep discussions with, this is Andrew. He's uh, Andrew Boy, is the official. He's my nephew, and uh, he is uh, he did some painting as you saw earlier, uh, and he and I are going to have some some bonding time as well. So uh, there it is. Um, now you know the contents. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, as thoroughly as I have, uh, as thoroughly as I will. Uh, care packages always accepted. Uh, by the way, by anyone, really. <laughs> if you send me something, you might get a better present when I get back. I don't know for sure, but I have posted this address on Facebook. So, if you want that. Uh, if not, uh, that's okay too. I'll see you when I get home. And I love all of you. I'm going to go out into the day now. We're going to do some things. I'm going to search some some beautiful building shots. I'm going to search out some monuments. I'm going to search out some art. I may climb something. I don't know. The world is my oyster. Well, hopefully better smelling than that. And uh, I just want to wish all of you a good day. All right then.